Power BI for Office 365 is a self-service business intelligence for all of your data. Uh, the core of Power BI is actually Excel. And within Excel, we actually have what is called the Power Pure Data Model. And that is the actual core of this whole new offering. I'm going to show you now what you actually get when you actually uh, join the preview. Uh, first, you actually need to register here. You click here, then you actually put your uh, email, and they will actually let you know once they're prepared for you because they're actually um, upgrading their service. They're actually uh, allocating more resources for this preview. Uh, right now, it's still in preview. Uh, they just released some new features about last week or maybe two weeks from now. And I just received my uh, notification that I was eligible to register for this and to use this preview about one week ago. So right now I'm going to show you what you actually get once you actually get that message, that email. Um, you're going to click on it, then it's going to tell you that you need to um, either add the subscription, this trial period to your Office 365 account. But if you're actually using, if you actually have like, like an E3 account or E4, then you will actually need to set up a whole new uh, environment. This time I actually created my own, uh, uh, which is going to be, uh, I actually call it Power BI Panama because I'm from Panama and that this is Power BI, uh, easy enough. And here what you actually get is just this, that's the uh, default. Uh, admin site for Office 65, but then you're going to see this section up here that is going to say welcome to Power BI for Office 65. Then you actually have videos uh, how to actually get started, set it up, how to actually set set up the system, this environment in SharePoint because it actually uses SharePoint Online. Uh, more documentation, set up your services, download the latest version of Office. Uh, you can actually set up Jamer jammer I don't know how to say this uh, but the first thing that you need to do is go to licensing and once you go to licensing then you're gonna be seeing this so we have office 65 plan 3 plan e3 and then we also have the Microsoft Power BI for office 365 if we see this um, this is actually 25 user licenses. Uh, it expires in March 2014, so this is how long it's going to take. Uh, the preview, uh, I am I am actually assuming here. Hopefully it's going to be before that, way before that. But then, if we actually try to go to, let's say, users, and I go to my own name here, and you'll see that I actually have Power BI for Office 365 and I have one of these uh, combos of license licenses uh, assigned to myself. So I have Microsoft for Power BI Information Services Plan and then I have the Microsoft Power BI Reporting and Analytics Plan 1. You see that I can actually choose this one as well, the Office 365 Plan E3. but if I actually do that, uh, I can actually download the, um, the link application, the Office, uh, Office Professional Plus, but then I will actually have to only choose SharePoint Online once because it's going to be duplicated here. So once I actually have this set up, I can just go to my site, which is going to be just clicking on Sites, and then it's going to be giving me this. And in here, which is going to be my team site, uh, as you can see up here, it's going to be powerbi.sharepoint.com. And here, all you have to do is just click on this link that's going to be populated here on the left side of this screen, Power BI. Click here, it's going to load this new uh, cool interface that they have created specially, specifically for Power BI. 
and what you get here is the logo here upper side of the screen always you actually get your username here you can actually click here on the gear and add sample data power bi admin center which is something that we're going to be covering later but here you get this section up here which is the popular question this is the q a and below you're going to get what it's called your documents you can create a new folder or you can just create new files so i could actually create a new folder and drag those into this folder this new folder uh it's pretty simple uh you just click here say that you click here and it's just going to open up Excel web app. Uh, you actually get the choice that if you actually have Power, v Power View in one of those Excel files, uh, you can actually use the preview version of the new Power BI uh, engine for H HTML5. So right now it's actually loading uh, the Power, Power View and you get this icon here that says try the try the preview. Uh, they're actually working on a new version of Power View in HTML5. So we can click here. It's gonna load again. But the cool thing about having HTML5 is that you're gonna be able to use it on your iPad now. So you're gonna be able to view this Power View report or dashboard on your iPad, and it's gonna be much easier to interact with. Besides this, we actually get uh, the pretty simple stuff. This is a sample that the guys from Microsoft actually uploaded for us. This is just retail. I'm going to have sales by day here. It's going to be uh, quite simple. And I just want you guys to see how it actually looks here. Because we're going to be seeing how it actually looks on the mobile app. For Windows 8 and Surface, it's gonna take some time here. Well, this is actually working. Let's go here where it says active users. Uh, you'll see that you can have as many uh, as many users as you actually want, uh, but it's gonna be at least 25 licenses. That's the maximum amount that you that you guys have. Uh, I'm gonna refresh this page. Again, this is actually a preview, so we're actually working on making this way better. I'm going to go back to the uh, preview, to the main site, to the main page. I'm going to go here where it says Power BI, loading SharePoint. And you see that if you actually seen, if, if you've seen SharePoint, this is actually quite easy this is quite familiar to you um, it's just Excel web services and also uh, Excel web apps sorry and the power view reports uh, the cool thing is that now you can actually use it on office 365 and you don't have that limitation of only uploading stuff that didn't have a power view data model now this one actually has a power view data model and you can actually interact with it so you can actually click here if I click on this bar which is United States then it's gonna filter all of the other t tables I mean views and charts uh, and that's how it actually goes uh, as simple as it sounds this, this is how it actually works um, pretty cool uh, images font this is actually quite quite cool uh, now, if we actually go back and we actually visit the Q&A, let's go to that. The Q&A only uses right now um, sample data from Microsoft. Uh, let's try again. Let's try and refresh here. Okay, so you can actually upload documents. But in order to use Q&A, you will only be able to use, right now, these examples, which is only uh, two data sets or two Excel files, 
One is for the Summer Olympics, all the way up to 2012, I believe. And the other one is for, uh, it's basically a business that sells beer and liquor. Um, we can actually click in any of those, in any of these uh, tiles here. I'm going to click on this one, or you could click on Ask. It's up to you. And here, we'll actually, what's going to be, what I'm going to be showing here is that this is something that is basically Google for data, for your data model, actually. So, or actually Bing, because we're actually talking about Microsoft. So here, you actually just ask a question, and that's as simple as it goes. I have a question. Uh, for example, I would like to know um, all the athletes from Panama, athletes from Panama, and metal class. Okay. That's cool. And metal. Metal class. This is cool actually because I, I can actually get this, which is just a, like a simple list or table. And actually, you see here that I have two athletes from Panama, uh, one named Irvin Saladino, and the other one is Lloyd Labech. Uh, the first one actually won a gold, and the second one actually won a bronze. And year, let's say. So he actually won a bronze on 1948, and he won a gold in 2008. Now let's say that I want to go with something more um, general. I'm going to go with something more general. Uh, medals by total medals by country. And then I actually get a cool little map that shows me the amount of medals per country. Now this is a, actually a lot of uh, balloons uh, or just circles so I'm gonna say medals by country from uh, Europe and then I can actually just zoom in and check out Europe now Turkey 87 that's pretty cool Italy 556 576 uh, France 685 and we actually get this really cool if we go by card we can actually change this to a card Romania Austria uh, we can actually sort it uh, maybe meta count to be descendant uh, United Kingdom was the one who, who actually won the most amount of medals uh, we can actually show it as a line not a school uh, but we can actually show it as a table. Uh, we can actually just ask any questions that we actually want. And also, we actually get some other type of uh, suggestions. For example, if I actually click here with says Europe, uh, I can actually change it to be Africa, North America, um, like here. Uh, Panama, only three. Uh, US is actually way up here, 2,492. Canada, 317. And that's how it actually goes. Uh, Bermuda, 1. Uh, Mexico, 82. And just as simple as it actually seems, you just ask questions and you get a visualization or a table, or uh, basically just an answer to that question. Um, they haven't enabled yet for you to actually use your own data, your own Excel file. Um, I don't have any idea on when they should be releasing this. And the only feature that I see that is actually missing is the uh, King of the Hill, uh, which is something really cool that I'm going to leave you guys a link so you can actually check it out by yourself. Uh, besides from here, 
we're actually using an Olympics sample. This is the actual data model that we're using. But we can actually choose from another one. Let's say that we actually have this one. Uh, if I click on this one, then I'm going to try to get an answer from this Excel file with for this question. But we wouldn't be able to get any answer or any real any related answer. So what I can do is that, for example, I can actually just ask a question, and it automatically, for me, it actually automatically chooses uh, which one of this file actually gets uh, the actual rank, the uh, the results uh, for which one has a better match, and in this case, uh, this model, the retail bar sales, bar sales, is the one that actually has a better match for this uh, query or this question. So I actually click here to show recipes. We're actually getting the recipes for all of this uh, margaritas, uh, adios, and friend, I love my slammer. And this is basically all of the chats and the recipes for uh, this business specifically. Uh, we can actually sell, see um, show bartenders. I can see it as a card, uh, bartender employees. As you can see here, that this right here, this uh, this is not a, a suggestion, but this is what has been translated from your question, and this is what Power BI, the Q and A, is actually analyzing and displaying for you. So if I type show bartenders, he's saying to the model show bartender employees. Uh, show admin uh, it doesn't have show assistant manager can they read uh, this is basically just the suggestions that we actually have for this uh, and that is it that is it from now uh, i'm gonna try and keep more parts coming uh, as soon as i actually get a chance with this and hopefully they, uh, they will actually release uh, more features pretty soon uh, so far, we don't have uh, the refresh option enabled. We're not able to actually refresh on a schedule. Uh, and there's some other stuff that I need to actually be uh, testing. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Thank you.